The 80s nostalgia is an odd one. There's the obvious personal nostalgia thing. If you grew up during the 80s, then you're going to have nostalgia for the 1980s. Simple as that. But there's also that kind of lo-fi feeling to everything, not just in the aesthetic, but in the way everything was done. Just sit back, relax, and open your eyes and ears to a new world of home entertainment. So, I mean, Ocean Software were the absolute kings of buying licenses and making games from them in the 8-bits era, certainly. I think after the success of Robocop, they did keep trying to mix it up. It's very rare you would see just another platformer from them. They did do that occasionally with things like Darkman. They would often try something different. You've got really off-the-wall stuff like Robocop 3, the 16-bit uh, home micro versions being you know, proper 3D games, which was unheard of at the time, really. But always with varying degrees of success. I mean, Robocop is quite rightly seen as one of the best. Things like The Untouchables was very good. Batman the Movie. And again, these all try... I mean, although Batman the Movie is a platform, it has all the different little driving sections and things in it, whereas some of the others just didn't really match up at all. I mean, it was nice that they always tried something different. I'm YouTube man Stuart Ashen, and thank you for supporting In Search of the Last Action Heroes.